All right. This is Max Clark. I'm the executive director of Camping Services, and thanks for jumping on another trail video. Today we're talking about the Norwestern trip. So you can see this is our website page where you can find information about it, register, you can get the packing list, and the itinerary is going to be coming up. And look, we are currently making the trail map video, so that's going to be a part of that. Hey, this is a great trip. This is the quintessential Camp Unalaya trip. And if you're talking tradition, uh, this one is well steeped. We have the records of the Norwester going back to the 1940s. And it truly is just a really unique and special trip. Uh, certainly not the last trip a camper needs to do, but I would recommend if there's one trip that every kid should do at Camp Unalaya, it is the Norwester. Uh, so what is it? It's a big canoe trip um, it, out in the Boundary Waters. That's basically it. It's a two week long um, journey. And let me start by showing you where they go from camp. So the first day they move in, they get packed up and leave from Camp Unalaya. They're going to make their way to Cascade River State Park in Minnesota. So they're going to drive north, go through Michigan, over into Minnesota. And this is where they're going to stage um, for one one night and the next day they're gonna make their way up this is the Gunflint Trail Road all the way up to where it ends and this is their location Trails End Campground where they start their um, their journey so I'll show you kind of a trail map of what that looks like this is just a different map that I use for for um, trip mapping all right, so let's get into that location. So you'll see here uh, their parking area and access. So what is the Boundary Waters? Well, it's this huge wilderness area. Uh, most of it is canoe only, and it stretches between Minnesota and the Canadian border. And so there's a lot of times during this trip where they're actually in between international waters pretty cool um, and one thing before I get into this the trail what I've drawn up here every unlike some of our other trips where that we plan out like you're gonna camp here you're gonna camp here you're gonna make your way this this many miles on this day one of the beauties of the Norwester is that the the journey is really up to the group of kids it's really up to the counselors on where where they're gonna go so what they'll do is they're gonna set a route <clears throat> ahead of time that's kind of their template right so this is what I've done uh, based off of some last two years um, of their journey of the groups going out um, but it could be different they can be in a, in their on their trip and say hey we'd love to scoot over and see these lakes over here or you know we want to crush a lot of mileage <clears throat> we're a group that's really ambitious or we're a group that likes to take it a little easy it just depends and I think that's one of the beauties of of this trip is that the the actual itinerary is is up uh, up to the group whereas the time of trail on trail is set so we we say it's eight nights and nine days on trail all right so in this example um, you can see the different camping locations and basically each one of those marks one stop along their way and as they're making their way through these areas there's a number of uh, portages and I estimated those to be between 20 and 35 portages that's where you're getting out of a lake packing across land and then coming across again um, it's a really I don't know breathtaking um, journey for a lot of these kids when they come back uh, they, they do come back transformed and lifelong friendships lifelong connections to camp come out of this trip it is it is super special um, the you know, the average trip length it's hard to say usually it's around 65 miles of total waterway covered um, we've seen some of those trips go up to 85 miles and we've had some trips that were around 45 miles it all depends um, but that's it it's a really simple trip to to, to basically describe um, and to show you where where location is going uh, their average 
daily journey is between eight and ten miles so if you take a look here this stretch um, pretty common stretch actually for the first days they usually camp out on American Point it's a seven mile stretch and there I think the longest on this template here is about ten um, okay one last thing to add here there is a very famous portage not every group chooses to go do it this is the 515 and um, it is a, a exceptionally long <coughs> um, portage and we do have some groups that choose to do it as kind of an act of rite of passage sometimes groups will skip this whole bottom section here and just shoot right through um, Seagull Lake up top here but there are groups that choose to do that as a as a matter of pride and there are groups that choose to do it instead of going north on their first day they choose to go south and crush it out on the first day just to make it extra hard <clears throat> and the reason that it's extra hard is because they're carrying their full uh, food weight their, all their food weight for the whole trip uh, which is pretty extensive on day one um, so we had a group do that last year kudos to them great job um, so that's it. They go through. They do eight nights, nine days through the boundary waters, and then when they scoot out, they'll head back down. And we haven't selected their um, midway camping spot uh, on their way out. It will be somewhere between here and Duluth, probably. And uh, they'll camp for a night and then make their way back to Camp Unalaya and commence with our very, um, um, I don't know exciting the Norwester banquet that we put on it's the only trip that we offer a full banquet with family and friends and there's a ceremony uh, it is truly unique so look forward to talking to you more about it if you guys have any questions about the um, Norwester trip feel free to contact camp otherwise I'll see you